I can't see what you can see, so forgive me if I'm not in the view. But this is what I'm about to plant. The directions say plant them. They're a huge bean. I'm going to show you in a second. To plant them um, 6 to 12 inches apart. That is a lot. But I can see why they would say that. This is my little wound measuring guide. One side is centimeters, so we don't want that side. So that's six inches. That's a lot of space in between a plant. I really don't uh, want to plant them that. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start here first. Look how big the roots are. Let's look how big the roots are. So I'm just giving it a little tea. Okay, not sure if you saw any of my other videos, but this is definitely not a tutorial. This is just me showing you what I did. Um, and me journaling so that I can keep up of, you know, what I'm doing in my garden. Definitely, I would not plant so many plants in one cup. And I would, um, you know, not let them grow so long. So next time, I am going to um, just put them in one individual cell just in case it does happen. But um, just as soon as they sprout, plant them out. That's usually how I like to do it. But let's see how these plants end up doing. Because everything is not going to always be perfect and it's not always going to be perfect conditions. So, you know, roll with what you got and make the corrections later. I kind of wanted to show you the beans and how they're doing. Um, look how big these pods are. They haven't filled in yet. But isn't that crazy? Um, so... Um, a lot of these beans actually got eaten off by um, snails, slugs. So I was surprised to see that um, some of them did recover. These tags, because they're not going to wash off or anything. And I keep, I think I'm going to know the name of those, but I just want to make sure. So they are the... Xmas Lima and I started them on 322 and I planted them out on 41. Really shouldn't put a date on there, huh? Because I could have kept this name for them for forever. Hmm. But anyway. Okay, I didn't want to forget. Something that I want to start keeping up with is how many I planted. And like I said, I planted them about three inches apart. And these are the um, lima beans, the Christmas pole lima beans. I got these from rareseeds.com. I had 100% germination um, and I planted 24 seeds. Uh, so I think I broke one. So we'll see. Um, I planted it kind of deep down. But we'll see. Um, I'm counting that as uh, 24 plants in total. But we will keep an eye on it. And then this one over here is a very rare type of pole bean that I got from rareseeds.com. And honey, they was real stingy. They be stingy with their seeds, honey. So I better remember if I like these to save these. There, um, I only got... Um, 14 seeds and this is the Mona Chella di Trevio and so I had a 100% germination um, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with the back part over here I might put some something peas or something um, but that's what I got here and so I'm just going to water these in and uh, yeah that's it I almost forgot to show you these other beans. So first of all, again, a lot of these have gotten eaten by, uh, let's see, I started off with 12 plants. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, uh, so I got nine. And I harvested 
the beans yesterday so I'm trying to see if there's one maybe I forgot just to show you what it looks like um, but he's a, he's not mature yet um, okay so I forgot him um, let's get him And I stepped on my cucumber. So they're looking a, yellow, a little yellow. We want to give them some little for a second. I believe that that's my moringa. It looks kind of small. For some reason, I was expecting it to be bigger. I'm hoping that's something there popping up. But so far, I don't have anything else. Are you my Moringa? And this is the birdhouse gourd that would refuse to die. So today is the third. I'm a little bit upset because I still don't see any Moringa except this one plant that's supposed to be Moringa. It certainly doesn't look like Moringa, but I'm going to take it outside. That's my one little Moringa. I do have some more that I just started, but from out of that tin, I don't know what's up with him. I really, really don't. <clears throat> okay, today is April the 12th, 2020. So this is a look inside of the greenhouse. You can see my passion fruit that my patient gave me. It's coming back to life. All of these are new leaves. It was just all bit off to this one little leaf right, leaf right here. Um, the top of my tomato plant um, got caught up in the storm. I had took him outside. So I don't know. I think he's doomed for Um and then um, we're growing more flowers on the strawberry plants. So I need to get these outside. Um, who is this? I wish this was lemongrass. I would be really happy if it was. This is pink celery. This is lemongrass. Look at that. We only got a couple in there. And I think I put a whole damn packet. Um, that is these little plastic shards from this damn greenhouse. I'm going to call them because that is popping up in front of all my stuff. This is the oregano that um, I got from sprinkled with the seeds that I had. Look at that. And this is my one of my, is that somebody popping up? Uh, one of my moringas. Uh, and this is a, a birdhouse gourd that decided he wanted to live and one blue kale I don't know what's up with the blue kale uh, red roselle we only got two what we only got two red roselle what the heck who is this this is two people in here it's got a date on here but it don't say what it is supposed to know what you are Shit. that's orange butternut squash and these are these look like marigolds that's what they look like off the top of my head yes so this looks like lettuce um who is this mammoth gray okay okay uh who is this Oh man, it rained again, and this is curly kale. So I've got to, I got to empty this out. Um, but these are my um, worm bin squash, and these are a bunch of plants that haven't done anything. Sun bright yellow. I think these are peppers, so they they're gonna be a while. Um, this is fennel, and this is some squash that I need to do something about. We'll come back and take a, oh, what is this? That's some onions. I think that's onions too. 
Um, what was this? Some more onions and something else coming up in there. Uh, onions and some tomatoes that decided to finally pop up. I guess, I don't know, really, all this shit popping up. Um, but it's a good thing because it's popping up, taking the place of stuff that died. So that's, that's nice. Um, but yeah, I need to get these squash out of here. So I'm going to start fertilizing today. Some people died. Uh, who is this? Fruit smoothie so he died um but uh who is this yeah i'm gonna start feeding them and look at my little red mustard you can tell who is the red mustards over here and i know you know who the pak choy is so we got a lot of work to do a lot a lot a lot a lot of work and I'm going to take inventory a little bit later. But right now, right now, I'm going to give them a little air. Uh, look at this avocado tree. Do you, do you think I'm going to get some avocados? I don't know anything about pruning trees. I guess I need to find out. The leaves are yellow. I've seen a hummingbird over here. The leaves are yellow and I do have some iron for them. I'm gonna have to get this calendula out of this bed. And then you can see some of my dahlias are coming back, but some haven't yet. I still have hope. I shan't give up. Wanted to show you my dahlias. Everyone came back so far except for one. And this one is about to open up. And so you can kind of see on this plant the different stages of what they look like. I just think it's so amazing. About to open up. God, I can't wait. They look, they look like they're just going to be beautiful. And we got tomatoes. I don't know what this is. This looks like celery. This doesn't, this isn't a dahlia. It looks like um, celery or something. And this is a dandelion. Uh, so, what you call it? I don't want you in there. Um, look at my nasturtiums. All right, so lots of work to do. My beans look like they're having a hard time but they still hanging in there. But these need to be planted out today. So this is what I'm going to be working on today. I think I'm going to, in place of these, I'm going to put those. That's what I'm going to do. And then I need to put what your columns on here. And I don't know who this is. Look, I got a ton of tomato plants in one place. Anybody want some tomatoes? I know which these are. I don't know who this is, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping this is a um, ground cherry. And this is my little onion that came back. I'm hoping this is a ground cherry. That would be so nice. Um, and this is my Okay, so he looks like he got some issues here. So, we have to look into that. Both of them, they got the same issues on their leaves or whatever. Alright, and this is my fig. And, um, yeah, we got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. <sighs> Boy, alright. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, and I still got to do these. I just wanted to say really quick about leaves are a great compost. So I'm just going to toss them right up in inside of the, uh, what you call it? Okay, I want you to come and meet your mommy. Oh, I'm letting the uh, Swiss chart meet their mama before I kill her. That's your mommy. This is where you came from. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wait, what am I talking about? Where they mate and begin to pollinate each other. No, <laughs> that this, like the way I was right, <laughs> right, you did good though, <laughs> this is how you know your, your husband is not listening to you, you just ask him, what, what, did, what were you talking about, okay, so, um, no, I was, I was showing them how this plant came from that plant, okay. we still can harvest from this plant, but it's old, and it's still pushing it's out new shoots, it's growing in the middle of the walkway though, yeah, I know it took it's taking root. It took root over here. Like wanna try to move it into the bed? No, no, we just gonna start fresh. So this is one plant. Oh, look at that root. Look at that tap root. Dang. Did you can you see that? <laughs> These are the Dwarf Taylor beans. We waited much too, much too late, but. They don't mind a little tickling. This corn got off to a bad start. Um, I didn't harden it off. I took it right from the house to outside. I wasn't paying attention to the weather. The very next day, it was a super hot day and a lot of them died, but a lot of them recovered as well. I'll show you in an updated um, tour how they're doing. I actually have two ears developing right now. so. Sometimes when your plants look like, you know, they've had it, the corn, um, just wait a few so days, this is the corn but you really I do want to harden you know, your plants remember, off and you of really want to pay attention it, to the weather, which is something that I have an issue with. And so, um, no, the two self. little ears that I see, and I'm not going to call them little because I've been a good girl watering them are right there and right there. So let me come over here. And just kind of show you what the corn uh, looks like. I guess it's time to go in the house. Now my battery on my uh so. we have a big issue with the squash vine board here. And so I'm trying this cup method to um, so help with that. I'm going to do a separate video to show big, you um, how this went. So we're going to see if we can get this one. So I think that's the perfect size. So she said the thing cannot, it can't, yeah. So I have to like bury it like this. Oh, to keep the stuff from eating up on the side of it. Yeah. But we're going out in order some more. So, I'm, now I gotta see if I can bury this like that. Snail 
Just harvesting the tops of some shallots that have been here forever. I should have been pulled these out. Um, I planted these when we first actually moved here two years ago. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, but eventually I did pull them and I made a powder, a very delicious powder, um, onion seasoning flavored powder, whatever you want to call it, um, out of them. So I didn't get a chance to shoot what I did yesterday, but I've got all of these uh, peas right here with the um, little sticks. I planted Lungo Bianco. Can you see? Lungo Bianco. Look at him. He's doing good. And I got to find out who you are. So I planted these peas. They need to be, do they need to be trellis? One of them needs to be trellis. Not sure if I'm going to trellis them. I can't remember. And what else did I do? Um, oh, I planted these beans over here. And look at it. Some type of zucchini or something. Getting ate up. Um, something stinks over here. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Uh, my husband topped off these beds so you see I have to plant some more of uh, the beans um, but he topped off these beds for me we planted out the um, plants I got from the grocery store so we planted those out and the tomato and the corn which I have to label look and we have some borage leaves the bees love the borage, so let me go and let them have their way. And that's that little borage plant. And, and that's about it. That is about it. Uh -huh. Oh, and I did wash off uh, those containers. I'm going to go in here and open up the greenhouse for the babies. Hey, mama's babies. And so, look at this greenhouse. Look at all the holes. The, the plastic is just chipping away. Plastic is getting all of my plants. You see the chips? All of my plants. Because all over here it's just chipping 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 away and basically there's no plastic over here so it's horrible it's horrible it's horrible but life goes on right so um babies need some water <sighs> Got a few lemongrasses that popped up. Who was that? Pink celery. Okay, so this is a plant called Viennese coriander that I got from somewhere last year. And I thought I killed it, but apparently I didn't. This plant smells so good. It's like you can make a perfume out of this. I would like to oh man let me show you something right here this right here spittle bug i totally did not know that i just found that out i'm not gonna mess with it i need to spray the plants but it's all over this plant right here i hope i don't see any here i see some of my tomato plant so um anyway i thought this was um a weed damn spittle bugs is everywhere <sighs> all right anyway it's growing everywhere and I'm going to have to damn pull this up but it smells so good and yeah I'm gonna we're gonna taste this and see want to dehydrate it like I do everything 
this is the uh, plant I wanted to show you. It smells so good. The, what did I say this was called? Vietnamese, Vietnamese cilantro. It smells like perfume or something. Like, I don't like you don't want to eat this. Like, I don't know. It's got a lot of, it's very strong. It smells really good. So, I'm going to uh, taste it. Maybe I should taste it right now for you, huh? Let's see. I don't know how good it'll be because this plant is old and I haven't been harvesting it. I thought it was a damn weed. Okay. Let's taste it. It tastes like it smells like perfume. With the hint of... Mm, it's very strong. I can't... I can't get this one. I can't... It's... Hmm... Hmm... It's a... It's a cross between mint, cilantro, and basil all put together. That's what it tastes like. That's what it tastes like. That's all I can give you. Okay, it is April. What's today? April 19th, Sunday, and um, so I'm just writing down the things that I need to do in the garden before I even get started or else I will get sidetracked because there's so many things. The very first thing I need to do besides go outside and water them because I haven't been out there in two days is I also need to transplant these gourds. I also need to uh, separate, I think this is two plants if I'm not mistaken, this is one plant. I don't know who he is, he is a volunteer, but um, I think he is, um, I think he is, I can't tell you right now who I think he is, but I need to do something with them. It's not a priority, but I do. I do need to, I don't need to trellis those. They're not trellis, they don't need really be trellised. Um, I need to plant some more beans here. I need to um, head, what do you call them? Deadhead the calendula so I can get my uh, flowers. Um, I don't know what's going on with my, I, I might have broke the plant, eh? Um, uh, no, they just, maybe just need some water. I don't know what's going on with them. They tripping. Um, um, I do also need to get some, oh, they got flowers on them. We need to create a uh, couple of things with this bed. I need to cut off a lot of these uh, runners. And then I also need to, my husband and I have, um, need to do the hoops for the strawberries. So that's another thing, which I need to write this stuff down. Oh, let me see. The corn is pretty much died, so I need to re-plant um, some more corn. So what did I just say? I forgot that quick. So I need to clean this bed out. Oh, I also need to transplant. This is all this stuff is not gonna happen today. I'm just gonna have to I'm just writing down as I'm out here because I always forget. I need to transplant my dahlias. Dahlias. I cannot spell dahlia. Dahlia, whatever. And um what else? Now, uh, these beds need to be done. So, these two circle beds need to be done. Um, and I need to figure out. And then also, I need some more. I need some more bags filled 
My husband said he's gonna do that for me. So I'm gonna put it down here. More bags filled. And I need to make compost tea. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, and a million other things that I will come back. So I need to get some of these things planted out real bad. So here is, who is this? And I hope the name stayed on there because I don't know who is who, honey. We'll look at it later. We'll have to look at all this stuff later. I don't know what that is growing in there. Looks like lettuce with the onions. What was this? Girl, the names did not stay. Oh, cilantro. Hey, cilantro. Hey, look at you. Okay, I got I gotta come back. We gotta get this stuff out of here. So I need to transplant lettuce. Look at my moringa. Hey, moringa. Hey, my moringa tree. Yay. And then look at my Swiss chard. And oh, look at all this stuff I got to do, y'all. Look, my radishes died in here because I didn't get them transplanted. But that's okay. I'll just plant some more uh, stuff and just, girl, yes. But let me water my babies. I got a few little garlics that made it through. I didn't know if they was going to make it or not, but they did. And I have so many things that I need to do. So I have to get back with you. I just wanted to give a little update a little update okay i can't talk right now though okay um oh who is that beefsteak he just need to be oh it's so hard oh mama's so sorry okay but look at my little strawberry up here so i'm gonna eat him i forgot to click click his uh his um cut the flower off but i'm gonna eat him and then i'm gonna plant him All right, so I watered my babies. The next thing I need to do is plant my lettuces out in these containers. Um, they're getting pretty big. So I gotta clean out these containers first. Um, give them some more um, nutrients. And then I'll plant my lettuce. So I've taken all of the containers and from over here and i'm just dumping him in there i open the compost bin and this is what i find tomatoes on top of tomatoes on top of tomatoes on top of tomatoes Okay, so here are the plants that I picked to sow into the containers. I have more than I need, so I'm just going. I just want to kind of have it like a little smorgasbord. So I didn't want the same kind of plant in every one. You know what I'm saying? Kind of want to mix it up a little bit. But I, for some reason, don't have a lot of different lettuces, which is pissing me off. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got our containers back. So I'm just going to uh, put fertilizer, fill them up. Okay, I'm just about done. And I had to remember what I put in here. So this is black seed at Simpson. It's a very um, fragile lettuce. Um, so, and then I put two um, Chinese amaranth. And this is um, tat soy, and this is bib butter lettuce and crimson red. So this is the crimson red. Okay, I'm not writing this down, so this is my record. Okay, um, and this is red uh, Chinese amaranth, and I don't remember what I put in here. Uh, black seed Simpson is in here somewhere, so if I would look. I would say that's black seeded Simpson there. And whoever else, I don't know. Okay. But this is um who is this? 
This is Mazona. 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 It might be somebody else. Uh, Mazona mixed with, uh, I don't know, I think red crimson. Uh, rouge. I thought I had more than one rouge. Hmm. Well, that's a rouge lettuce. Oh, and that's a rouge. So this is all rouge. I think he came out of there. But we'll see. I know he is rouge, okay? The one that's right here. Just make sure I don't move these containers, right? The one <laughs> that's right here. Um, and I don't really know what the rest of these are. So I'm just getting ready to um, water them in. I got to water this down first. This is the one I told you that my husband found in the ground, so I kept them. All right, and so Tatsoi, I think, gets pretty darn big. So I didn't want to put too many in there, but I did want to test it and see how it goes. But I'm going to put these in containers and some in the bed. We did these like Thursday. Mm -hmm. Look at them. You see the roots? Mm -hmm. Can't really see. So, and this is Monday. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Four days. Four days. Okay, it's Monday now. April 20th. So, I have to... Um, I kind of had to... I wasn't planning on doing all these things. I just actually was kind of thinking about all the things that I had to do. Um, and so, I wasn't planning on doing all these things in one day. And I still don't plan on doing all these things. Um today like finishing them up but it's going to be like a running to-do list but yesterday i did water my babies um they probably don't need water today it's a cool day outside i transplanted some gourds but i still need to wait the gourds is right here to my transplant some gourds the gourds are right here they've been in the house so they need to be hardened off but i need to transplant them because there's so many in this cup this is the birdhouse gourd and they just taken off and I got water on my thing so I'm about to do that right now so I am going to cross it off so I can feel good about myself what do I mean transplant volunteers oh see I have to, I have to be more specific I didn't deadhead any calendulas uh, I didn't clean out any beds I didn't do dad what did I do what I did do let's see is I did the um, the top but the back porch rail or whatever so I planted um, the back I don't know what you call it right the back porch um, garden containers whatever okay it looked kind of hard I might have to water these today so yeah I think I'm gonna be in love with these they're very hardy um, they look they're this firm oh, I think I'm gonna be in love with these that's what I got and then also some onions that they just sprung up he looking like he died what happened to you uh, so the onions they look kind of tired I guess we should just go ahead and eat this lettuce huh uh-huh so this is one plant one plant one calendula plant look at that well I guess I might as well go deadhead the rest of the calendulas Just kind of want to show you what I got. Planet. So, some of these I don't know what they are, but we got our uh, hoping that they're all cucumbers. So, we got all three of the cucumber beds done. 
and then here are the cucumbers that is our manian um i harvested mostly all the cucumbers yesterday but there's one there and oh and one here that i need to get off oh man you can just twist it right on off I don't want to break him. And so one plant died over here. So I just planted another one. He looking scraggly, but he'll, he'll do all right. And, and then I need to, what is that? I would say it's a yellow jacket. Why is it standing in front of me like that? Okay. So next, I need to, oh, let me show you what I did yesterday. I don't know if I forgot to water him or whatever, but I came up and he was all droopy. He looks better, so maybe I forgot. Oh, you didn't see. He was all droopy. Maybe I forgot to water him. I'm not sure, but everybody else looks pretty good. So these are all the squash. Some of them I put cups. Some of them I didn't. Um, most of them will have to be moved to a new location because they are um, going to get big, hopefully. Um, I have a problem with... Well, that looks like a cucumber. These two looks like cucumbers, don't they? Who is this? Hmm. There's no name again. What that say? It's going to seed already. This bed is really starting to irritate me. Looking at it, I need to just empty it, man. Kill the males. Mm -hmm. They just killed him. Okay. I killed him. He's dead. Bees love borage. 
they love this is not borage why am i saying that i was just looking at the borage this is a, a nasturtium they've been here for since last year these are my dahlias i'm gonna take the big ones out just wanted to show you what i did yesterday how my babies are doing they're doing good i don't see any um additional snail marks so this bed needs to be planted out and i think that one died over there let's go check on him i think he died look these need to get water he bit the dust he bit the dust he said no honey this is not the road that i see for my life he bit the dust okay it, i bet you it's somebody who i like too yep but I got plenty of him, so it don't matter. All right, let me get started. Who is this? Albion Strawberry. Albion strawberry is long growing. I think so. I think this grows all through. It doesn't say it's long growing, full sun. It doesn't say spring, maturity, spring. Okay. I was going to water them, but they're easy to work with when they're kind of not watered. So, how many plants am I going to put? I think I'm only going to put two plants. I may also put a flower in there. These two, all these three are attached, huh? So I think I'll just put all of them together in there. And then this one. Oh, this one has a strong roof structure. <laughs> So I need to put some wood chips on them, but I don't feel like it. I'm going to hang them up and go to the next thing because I'm quite sure I'm already behind. I wanted to show you my volunteers so this is my volunteer um, I know that that is red pear 
um, I actually transplanted these from here and um, I know that this is a gooseberry right ground cherry that's ground cherry and then this is the um, German blue um, blackberry and the German blackberry has popped up all over everywhere and some gooseberries so that is this I have a tr what do you call this I've cut this plant back a lot so <clears throat> and then there's some more volunteers I don't know I need to I don't know what I'm gonna do it's supposed to be uh, tree collared things in here but all these volunteers popped up <clears throat> 